Jose and Smile and we're on our way for afternoon tea. Right now we're driving to the BART station. We don't like driving into the city because parking is so hard there. So what we do is we go to a BART station, we park there and then we take the train to the city. I removed my fascinator for the train. We got off at Montgomery Station. It's about a three minute walk to the hotel. It's uh, 13 degrees Celsius right now, but it's very sunny. So all in all, a very nice very day nice in the weather. city. Yeah, yeah, very nice weather. I don't know if it shows, but the pavement sparkles. The Palace Hotel is over 100 years old. It was built in 1875. Check this out. The original, well, not original, but old room keys from 1930 or around 1930. That's almost 100 years old. Really cool. Huh? The classic. Vintage. Not just classic, just like vintage telephone. So they have a lot of displays because this is our historical hotel. That's what the hotel originally looks like. I don't know. Is it? This is a nice door. So we we'll use it for for OTD. I'm Not for me. A dress and open toe sandals. And he's wearing wearing <laughs> clothes. <laughs> falling. Okay. A dulce with cherry, Italian salami, a salad and a smoked salad. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. It's creepy, right? It's not showing, but wide eyed face. That's the first part here. And this part here. We need one here. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's a pomegranate with orange, a French macaron, chocolate strawberry, a pear, 
of the opera para make a scone and cranberry scone. Wonderful. And jelly for the scone is raspberry, lemon curd, and cloudy cream. We noticed that there's balconies right up there. So we thought it would be very welcome. And it'd be really cool back then because if this was a ballroom back then, then you know you can see the entire ballroom from those balconies. our afternoon tea and everything was good. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. So we got here before 2 o'clock. Our booking is at 2 o'clock. I think they only have one sitting. It's 2 to 5 p.m. the afternoon tea. And so we got here early but it doesn't matter because they won't sit you until it's exactly 2 p.m. Yeah. That's for everybody. They didn't sit anyway. Mm -hmm. And it was full. It's full. It was full. When we actually made the booking we had to do it more than a month before because if you book like just a few weeks ahead you won't find any available table anymore the good thing though is um there's no time limit i mean mm -hmm. the, the after true. from two to five true but they won't feel like okay well you know you can only be here for an hour and a half yes so, so you can actually stay for the whole three hours yeah, yeah, and whole so there's you, no pressure. yeah so it was actually a nice addition to the whole experience because you're not rushed yeah. you can take your time and actually enjoy all the food starting off with the food um it's interesting because they they serve the sandwiches first mm -hmm. so we, at first we were looking for for the tier you know <laughs> dessert kind of uh -huh. response for missing uh -huh. which we knew it was coming uh -huh. but it's just the, the way they serve it they serve the sandwiches for the savory stuff first all the sandwiches all the sandwiches the, the dessert the scones was really, everything was good. The tea was good too. The scones were amazing. The, they had two types of scones, a uh -huh. regular scone and... Was it raspberry scone? Raspberry, like, yeah, some berry scones kind of thing. Both were amazing. Mm -hmm. It's very moist very inside. Good. Yeah, I know? didn't even use any of the um, jams that they Me had. Too. They had like a I, lemon... Lemon and raspberry. Raspberry and then a cotton, mm -hmm. cotton cream uh -huh. um, thing. I just, I just tried them to to taste it but you don't actually yeah, need it needed. with the scones because the scones by itself is good. I would go back just for the scones. The scones were <laughs> really good. And then they had um, some sweet stuff. Uh -huh. That's also pretty good. Some of them are very sweet but yes. But we're, not we're not used, used to, to the sweet things. But it's not bad. All, 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 we're not saying it's bad. It's just for, for our taste it's actually sweet. So but everything was good. Everything I good. Think, yeah. Food wise it For me it's just that the tea they leave the loose leaf in the in the pot and so it keeps brewing because normally it has like a specific brewing time like three to five minutes but since it was left there yeah. it got a bit bitter by the but you can ask for more water yes. you can ask for more water yes. like hot. Mm -hmm. and then the ambiance obviously is really nice we're in a historical place and it's very grand yeah very it's very, very grand because of the the glass um, ceiling, right? Mm -hmm. It was warm because we started at 2 o'clock. <laughs> like the greenhouse. So it was like a greenhouse <laughs> effect place that they inside. Um, but as the day progressed, it's bit, you know, late after, later afternoon, it's nice. It was it's nice, really nice. Now. There's yes. plenty of natural lighting. Uh -huh. Very, very grand. And the tables were spaced in a yeah. good way. We're yeah. not cramped. Yeah. It's We're not, not elbowing each other. Yes. We, each other. we can't hear the other people's discussions so we were spaced very well um, the seats were very comfortable 
I was just surprised that the, what do you call it, the takeoffs and the place that they use, it's not bone china. <laughs> wow. It's like regular ceramic. And I was expecting, because the place is so grand, I was expecting actual bone china, but it wasn't. But other than that, ah, and they don't have live music though. That would have been nice to have live music. They, they are playing um, lounge music, mm -hmm. basically, or very relaxing. relaxing music, like in the speakers mm -hmm. throughout the lounge, though. Mm -hmm. And it's just low enough, and it's just at the right mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. volume. But it would have been a nicer touch if they did have some live music. Live music. Right. What else? Mm, the service was really good. It was really good. The, the one serving our table was very attentive. He would always go and check if everything's okay. And then they refilled the hot water for your pot. And We're good at explaining, although of course they don't remember, I don't remember, remember everything. everything. We're good at explaining what they're serving uh -huh. as they come. Because some, some people don't, or some places don't do that. But that was pretty good. Yes. The overall experience for us, I think it's worth it. Yeah. It's on the pricey side, but again, um, everything was good. And all the food that we tried was good. The venue itself is really nice. For the quality of the food, the, the food, the service, the service and, the and, the, and the location, it's still worth it. It's worth it's it. it. We side. highly recommend. It's not like we're gonna go here every day. <laughs> Definitely it's nice not. Nice to take some friends out here mm -hmm. and celebrate. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Would recommend. It. Yeah, totally recommend. It. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. Bye. Bye.